Number seven. As you can see in this slightly horrifying image, some foods just don't want to be eaten. This young Korean woman actually chose to order a wriggling octopus as her main entree. In fact, in South Korea, these squirming tentacles are considered a delicacy. The dish is called sanachi, and it features a young, live octopus that's cut into small pieces and then served immediately. And yes, the tentacles keep moving while they're on the plate. An average of six people per year die because they choked on sanachi. Those suction cups are tailor-made to keep that tentacle lodged in your throat. Number six. There are regions throughout Africa and Asia where bat meat is consumed in various ways. These include soups, stews, and even curries. It's reported that nearly half of all fruit bat species are hunted for food. The main problem with eating bats is that they're known carriers of several diseases. It's believed that some of these species are a natural reservoir for the Ebola virus. When the drawback is as severe as potentially contracting a deadly disease, it's probably best to just avoid bats. Number five. Some outsiders who've tried one of Iceland's national dishes have described it as the most rancid thing on earth. Nevertheless, Hakkarl has been prepared by the population of this Nordic nation for centuries. When the Vikings first settled in Iceland, they found that the waters were filled with Greenland sharks. The Norsemen quickly discovered that the shark's meat was poisonous, so they needed a way to purify it. The process is pretty gross, so buckle up. First, they'd behead and gut the shark immediately after catching it. Then, the body is placed in a hole in the ground with stones on top of it that slowly pressed out the toxic fluids. Afterwards, the shark meat ferments for about 6 to 12 weeks. Eventually, the body is cut into strips and hung to dry for several months. The dish is ready when it's formed a hard brown crust and is emanating a rotten smell. Those who try it for the first time are advised to pinch their nose because the smell of ammonia is much stronger than the taste. Anthony Bourdain claimed that it was the worst thing that he'd ever eaten, and Gordon Ramsay immediately spit it out. Number four. This next delicacy comes straight out of the Philippines, and it puts the no in Filipino. It's called Baloo, and it makes me want to bow puke. It feels like one day a guy in the Philippines thought to himself, I like eggs, I like chicken, maybe I should try the in-between. And Baloo was born. Technically, born might be a misnomer, because Baloo is an 18-day-old developing bird embryo. Producers of Baloo incubate the eggs by placing them in the sun or burying them in the sand. They allow the embryos to partially develop before smashing their shells and devouring the semi-matured poultry. Over the years, the younger generation of Filipinos have become increasingly averse to Baloo. So in an effort to build affection for the snack, the school system has started teaching students about the anatomy of birds using Baloo. And at the end of the assignment, they have the kids eat their homework. I think I'll pass on the extra credit, thank you. Number three. In the last few years, one product has been creating a lot of buzz in Japan. A local company thought that chocolate chips were a little mainstream, and they decided to replace them with wasps. That's right, bad-tempered, vicious stinging, and bee-killing wasps. Insect trappers teamed up with a local biscuit maker to produce a unique digger wasp rice cracker. The insects are boiled in water, dried, and then added to the cookie mix, which is then stamped in a hot iron cookie cutter. The upside seems to be that wasps have the highest protein content of all edible insects. So you can really pack on the gains if you start downing these treats. Do you even eat wasps, bro? Number two. You might consider Mopane worms to be too creepy looking to even hold in your hands, much less eat. Yet, in a number of African countries, the worm is a popular dish. These emperor moth larvae are picked from trees and then have their guts squeezed out. Dried mopane worms can be eaten raw, and they've been described as a crisp snack. Alternatively, they can be rehydrated and fried until crunchy, or sautéed with onions. It's definitely not an easy food to fall in love with, 
and any butterflies that you might feel in your stomach could be an early sign of indigestion. Number one. Fugu opens an entirely new dimension for adventurous foodies because there's a chance that it will be your last meal. It's a dish made from the notoriously dangerous pufferfish. The preparation of fugu is highly regulated in Japan. Chefs need to complete three or more years of rigorous training just to get certified to serve this meal. Fugu requires careful handling, and even the knife used for cutting it needs to be stored separately from the other knives. There have been cases where people have accidentally died while attempting to prepare fugu dishes at home. That's because throughout most of its body, the pufferfish contains tetrodotoxin, a potent neurotoxin that wreaks havoc on humans. It interacts with channels in our cell membranes and paralyzes our muscles while we're still conscious. Initial poisoning symptoms include nausea, headaches, and difficulty breathing. Nevertheless, the fish's toxicity is actually part of the appeal. If prepared properly, it gives you a numbing sensation on your lips, as well as a nice alcohol-like buzz. 